What's up, Salvage Dolls? Welcome back. Today we have a Barbie try-on haul for you guys. You would have seen some of these in my last Barbie doll haul. So to start us off, we have this really pretty blue teal length dress. It kind of has like a knitted fabric. I'm not sure if it's Barbie brand or not. So if you know, feel free to comment down below. I couldn't find it online anywhere. Um, it's just really pretty. I don't know if it's supposed to flip like this or if it just like laid like that for so long that it wants to stay, but it just wants to flip up. And I think it looks cute like that, so I am just leaving it. It's got the little rosebud detail. It has Velcro in the back. The only downside is that the uh, strap here has seen some better days. So we can just take that off and it can just be a one strap kind of dress. And uh, there we have it. Okay. I think it's kind of cute. It's definitely a cute dress. And then you guys will recognize this doll from last Friday's video. Her hair is nearly dry, so I thought we could play with her a little bit and dress her up while her friends finish drying, and then we're gonna do their hair. Again, that video is already posted, but she's the My Generation Dance Party Barbie. So, on to the next outfit. Here's our next dress. It's a 1985 Hasbro gem and the holograms. Rock and curl, truly outrageous Jerrica dress. <laughs> so that's what I found the listing online for it. I don't know anything about this dress or the dolls it goes for. Hasbro isn't really something that I dabble in too much, but it is still a very pretty dress. I like how it um, kind of has like a high-low effect, except for it's on the sides. So, like it goes low with the purple on one side than the other. It's still very pretty. The flower up here is obviously in need of some help. It's not doing great things. And then the Velcro in the back is a bit of a mess. Um, I may just take that all out and just put some snaps back there. I mean, it's still doing its job technically, but it don't look good doing it. So we'll see. But... It's so cute. I like it in the front. Okay. Our next dress is this pretty yellow dress. I know the bottom's looking kind of pink right now. Um, it's actually white, I believe. Is it pink? I guess it is pink. I thought it was white. I thought the lighting was being goofy. Um, so it's pink and it's yellow. I think it's really pretty. It makes me think of like those, was it like, I don't know, like late 1800s, early 1900s hobble skirts. Or, well, I think they had skirts, but this would be a dress. I think it's very pretty with the lace detail. Um, it is large in the bust on Barbie. It does not have tags claiming to be Barbie on the inside. So it very well could go to a different doll that maybe has a bigger bust. If you know the dress, please let me know down below because I think it's such a pretty dress. Um, I don't know if like the elastic is just stretched out up here because it feels like it's still in good condition. But um, it's it's very loose up top on her. The back of it looks pretty good. A um, little bit of loose um, Velcro back here, but that's an easy stitch, a quick little stitch in there, quick fix. Otherwise, good shape. It does have a stain here on the bottom, but I mean, there's a good chance it'll come out with some OxyClean in the wash. I haven't washed any of these yet, but I think it's a very pretty dress. Maybe just on the wrong doll. I like it. <laughs> I like looking at it. Okay, here's our next one. I'm not sure if it's like mother made or if it's like actually Barbie. There's no tags inside of it. It's definitely very old. It has that like 1960s mod kind of vibes. Definitely shorts. <laughs> Don't bend over, girl. We're gonna see everything. Um, has some stains on it, but I'm hopeful that we can get that taken out in the wash. And then the back here, um, there's no closures. So I think that, you know, just putting a little snap back here would fix any problems, maybe two snaps. Um, and then she's good to go. So I think it's a cute dress. It's definitely fun. It definitely has like that 60s vibe, but it's pretty. Um, again, I don't know if it's Barbie. Whoever made it did a good job. It's really good quality stitch work, especially when you look at it, at it from the inside. So let me know if you know anything about it. 
Okay, here is our next dress. And it's one of those, like, I have to question Mattel, like, what were you thinking? And maybe it's just a sign of the time. I don't know. But this dress, to me, is just a hot mess. So it is the 1988 Barbie Fashion Finds dress. You'll notice that the pattern on it is very similar to the Cool Tops Courtney from 1989. And when I found this in the set, like I really thought these had to go together. I seen where with these cool tops, you could buy extra shirts and like your kid could design the tops and such. So since they came from the same haul, my assumption was maybe they came with stamps and a kid did this, right? No, that's all Mattel. They sold them like that. Um, on this skirt, it's cute. On this, it looks like a kid had those little stampers and this is what you got. Um, not to mention, just, just with exception to the pattern, what's happening? There's no real fit to this dress. It's just boxy. I don't know. <laughs> and then it's got like this pleather skirt down on the hips. Okay. The more pleather here along the neckline. And it ties in the back and it's got like this giant gaping opening back here. Like, is it, is it supposed to look like that? Right? Um, I don't know. And then I just had like, it has nothing to do with the quality of the dress. I mean, I'm impressed how well it's held up over 30 years. Like it's in good condition. Uh, but <laughs> whoever had this last had this tied without even having a doll in it. I assume without having a doll in it, they could have broke their head off to get off the doll, I guess. Um, I had the hardest time untying this and getting it off. So I just did one little tie back here because I'm not going to fight it again. I was kind of worried it had like melted together at some point, but it came off. It's fine. Um, but it is probably one of the funkiest Barbie dresses I have ever seen. And while we're on the subject of the cool tops, here's what that would look like on. Um, I do have some of her accessories. So, and by her, I mean like the outfit. I recognize this is not the correct doll. In my last video, some people told me that these are dolls on the wrong bodies. I haven't done the research to know. Somebody else told me I've got a doll that's from like the Loving Family collection, which I'd never heard of. So, wrong doll. But the outfit itself, <laughs> she's got an undershirt, which I have tucked up under here because it's really big on her. But we've got the yellow undershirt, the red tank top, the funky, these are shorts. I thought they were a skirt. Funky shorts. They've got an apple on them that have a bite taken out. Very detailed. Um, her red leggings underneath that only go down to her knee. And I've got one shoe that go with the outfit. There we have her shoe. And then we also have her very 80s purse, which I want to say this does go with this doll. I don't think I just added it on. Um, and then her little baubles here, which turns out they should actually go on her hair. If I remember correctly, they don't actually go on the wrist. I don't really know how to style that. Plus, this isn't the doll for that anyways. Um, I've got these packaged separately, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. It is a funky outfit, but I think it is cute and it's fun and it's very kid appropriate. While I was putting this on, I was like, man, why don't kids dress like this anymore? It's very childhood, right? And maybe it's just because I grew up in the 90s. Um, but I feel like kids today just, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes they either go from showing too much skin to like kind of just a boring outfit, you know? Um, we need to bring back this kind of dress for children. And to finish out this little segment here, we also have the 1987 Cool Tops Skipper outfit. Now she actually had a skirt and she just has longer leggings. She would have also had an undershirt, which I do not have. Hers, I believe, was blue. Um, and a few more bangles. And she would have had some hair accessories, like what was on the last doll. And I've only got one of her shoes. And then on her skirt here, she has a charm that is a banana split. Um, it's got little details like the cherries. It's kind of fun. And I'm just impressed with how well these decals have held up over the years. Like, they're not peeling off. That's pretty impressive. And that is what the back looks like. Okay, our next outfit here is 
from 1986. It is a fun time Barbie lavender outfit. And I think this is supposed to be like pajamas. Maybe I'm wrong. We are missing one sock. Fun little thing and I'm gonna have to find it. My other Barbies I bought not too long ago, I found a set of the socks. I don't have an outfit to go with it. And I wasn't thinking about the fact that it goes with this outfit. So I'm gonna have to dig through that set to complete this set or that haul, I guess, to complete this set. I haven't filmed that one yet. You haven't seen it yet, but um, yeah, kind of interesting. So I've got a full set. I just gotta go find it, but kind of fun. It's all sparkly. I don't know how well that shows up. There we go. I kind of see it better. I don't know if this is supposed to be some kind of like an abstract clock and these are the hands or where that's supposed to lay. Is it a tassel? I don't know what's happening with that. The little shoulder bits here are kind of fraying. They're not in the best condition. Um, not the worst. We could definitely be worse. And then here's from the back. I'll say these 1980 tops that are not split all the way down are I find more difficult to put on. They take a little bit more technique, <laughs> um, but it's a cute little, cute little set. Here's our next dress. It has no tags on the inside, so I don't know if it's for Barbie. Um, it definitely has like that 2000s vibe to it. Uh, I think fashionista is what I'm looking for. The dress doesn't fit this doll super great, but this doll is 90s, so it may have came out around the time that Barbie started changing her shape a little bit. Um, it is knee length, uh, kind of, you know, not cotton, not, maybe it is cotton, what does it matter? It's kind of like a stiffer material. It's got like a skyline on the bust, which is kind of funky in my opinion. But again, that's kind of what makes me think it's like the fashionista stuff. Um, and then here it is from the back. Like I said, it's not completely fitting her, but you know, I mean, it's, it's okay. I could see definitely more like a kid gravitating to playing with this, which is what it's for anyways. Um, you know, it's, it's okay, kind of basic. Up next, we have the 1987 California Dream skirt. Uh, I just paired it with a random top. I don't know anything about the shirt, so let me know if you know. I just felt like with their funky patterns, they went okay-ish together. That's what it looks like from the back. And then the skirt did come along with the um, swimsuit bottoms. I believe it also had a swim top with it as well. So our next outfit here, are some 1985 Barbie and the Rocker fashion pants. I don't know anything at all about the shirt. I just paired it. Um, and what I was finding with these pants is that they seem to kind of have their own unique uh, paint splatters no matter what pair of pants you get, or I think there's some shirts also. Um, and these pants in particular, they're really large on Barbie, at least this Barbie. So either her proportions are different from like the 80s Barbies, or these pants are for Ken. And seeing as they have functional pockets, <laughs> I'm gonna say they're for Ken. But um, yeah, I mean, they're kind of neat. And I love that they each get their own individual paint splatter because it makes every piece unique, you know? It makes it each a little bit different. This next outfit I know nothing about. I just put them together. Neither of them have tags saying that they're Barbie, though I feel like the shirt probably is. The skirt is quite large on her, so I'm going to say probably not Barbie. Um, it's kind of poor quality as well, so part of me wants to say like it was made by somebody's mom, but it says made in China, so clearly not like mother made, but um, I don't know, maybe like one of those like random dollar store dolls you'd find, maybe that's what it came on. Something with bigger hips than Barbie though, which is kind of surprising. I feel like she's kind of, at least this era, like hippier than <laughs> most dolls you're going to come across, but you know anything about it please let me know okay this cute little set i couldn't find online anywhere if you know about it let me know it does have tags inside saying it is barbie so we know we're on the right track i'm not sure if this is like a swim set with a skirt that goes over top or if it's supposed to be a skirt outfit and it just has bottoms but it's a cute little set, and as mentioned, it does have the um, swim bottoms underneath, at least, or underwear, well, I don't know. Uh, it's a cute little set, little purple, little purple outfit there. Okay, this one is the 2002 Summer Garden Barbie dress. It's very cute, very quaint. It kind of gives me feelings of like 
Belle from Beauty and the Beast with all the gold roses and the yellow roses on it. Um, almost like if they were trying to do, not Disney cosplay, but like something Disney inspired. I don't think that's what their plan was, but that's what it makes me think of. It's a very pretty dress, very simple. Um, definitely very 2000s. This next dress is so darling. Um, it's the Disney's High School Musical, um, oh, High School Musical 3, sorry, um, Kelsey's Prom Dress. It is made by T Mattel, um, and it came out in 2008. And it has velvet flowers all over the dress. It's just so cute. Such a cute little spring summer dress. It does not fit Barbie, I tried. <laughs> way too small on Barbie. Um, the Kelsey doll must have been very petite because it's it's snug on her, which she might be on the wrong body, but it's still a shorter, smaller body than Barbie. So I haven't seen the doll this goes with, but um, she must have been a tiny doll. But it's such a cute dress. I love the details and like that it's actually like velvet. So cute. I don't know if it looks dingy because it is dingy or if it's looking dingy because it's peach colored flowers. It's from 2008, so like, we're gonna go with it, it just needs a good wash, but it's held up really well. A lot of times you'll see fraying in this kind of a fabric and there really isn't anything going on. It looks pretty good, just a, a good wash, and I think it's a really pretty dress. This next dress is the 1988 Fashion Finds number 1009. I can't decide if I like this dress or not. Part of me says, she's gonna go play tennis and if you gave her like some sneakers and like a tennis racket I think I might like it but if you're gonna dress it up with, like a pair of pumps and be like oh yeah she's going shopping or like to the office like I'm not buying it I think it looks a little weird also when I was doing the original haul for these um Barbies and outfits and everything I couldn't decide if this dress was inside out or not it's just the material on it is it's like fluffy across the front and it had me stumped for a minute. I had to really look at the seam work and figure out like, what direction does this go in? It's even down here. It kind of makes you think like, is this inside out? But if it's the other way around, like you see all the other stitch work. So like, this is the direction it's supposed to go. It's just a little bit funky. I do like that it's knit. I think that's kind of a fun aspect and a fun texture. It's not just like basic or anything. It's got like that deep V in the, nat in the back, um, which is really fun. I think that's really kind of cool but it's definitely a funky dress in my opinion. This next one is definitely an older piece. It's a 1979 Kins Fashions Collectibles, number 2796. It's a house coat. This one was harder for me to determine because some of them I, I believe had like um Kin written. It was either on the pocket or on like the chest somewhere. Mine doesn't say that. There's some that have it, some that don't. If you have more information or if I got it wrong, please let me know. It took some searching to get the information that I had. Um, clearly, I don't have this on a can. I got it on a Barbie because I don't I don't think I have any more cans sitting around. But it's got like a little functional pocket there in the front, which is kind of fun. It's in really good condition. No holes, no major stains. I think it could use a good washing. But otherwise, and the colors held up quite well. Nice and vibrant orange. Um... It is short. Like, I mean, it's good length on Barbie, but I feel like on Ken, it's going to be short. <laughs> okay, this one I couldn't determine for sure. I think that it is from the 1988 Animal Loving Barbie Fashion Pack Collection. Um, it's very similar to those outfits, but I couldn't find this exact one. So if you know, let me know. But I am pretty sure that's where this comes from. Um, just a pretty little basic dress. That's how it looks in the back. It's not like super exciting. Um, it's also possible that maybe it had something over the top of it. And when I was looking at pictures online, maybe that's why I couldn't find just the dress. It, it may have had more to go with it. Um, yeah, that's what that looks like. Okay, both of these pieces are Barbie. This one particularly is branded on the outside. This dress is branded on the inside. So definitely Barbie pieces. They don't go together, but I paired them together because they're both pink and I felt like, why not? The dress, not the best quality. It keeps wanting to slip off her chest. Um, it does have these strings up here that you tie and they're, they're on there tight. So I'm gonna have to do some fixing to get those to come undone. Um, 
this dress does not want to stay up. I, I I don't know what age it is, and maybe on a doll with a smaller chest it would stay better, but on this 90s doll, we're struggling to keep it up. <laughs> the jacket um, seems to be pretty good quality. It's supposed to be like a faux leather kind of a deal, I think. It zips all the way up to the collar. Um, I couldn't find the dress or the jacket online. I do use a mixture of... Uh, Google Lens is normally where I start off if I don't know what something is. And then I'll also do just basic Google searches along with eBay. Um, a lot of times I can find things on there as well. So that's what we're looking like from the front and the back. Some got some wrinklings going on. If you recognize it, please let me know. And some of you guys have been able to ID things that I have not been able to find on my own. Um, and then there's also a Facebook group called ID My Barbie or Barbie ID or something like that. And I will use them and they're pretty good as well. So that's kind of how I go about IDing Barbie and Barbie's fashions. But these ones I have not been able to figure out. This next one is a fun and funky outfit. It doesn't fit this girl perfectly because it's definitely made for a newer body style which are less busty um so she's hanging on by a thread there this is the 2010 fashionistas sassy rock star and i believe this came with a set of like three different dolls there may have been fashion packs with that i'm not really sure so she does have a one-piece cat suit or are we calling them I think rompers nowadays, they they have shorts, right? So cat suit um, goes down to about her knees. There's a little bit of a split on the sides on each knee. So, you know, a little extra um, room for bending and moving. The belt is, um, I don't know. It's sitting funny. Maybe in a newer doll, it would look better because it would go up a little bit higher. So maybe that's what the deal is. Um, it's got the little Barbie charm hanging off there that has her her face on it. Um, faux buttons are not real. They're just printed onto the fabric. And then she's got her lovely pleather snakeskin looking jacket um, with the fuzzy collar. Her jacket looks very like late, late um, 2000s. <laughs> like I remember having a jacket very similar, but mine was like a jean jacket with like white and it was cropped when back in like 2008, 2009. <laughs> so kind of funny to see this for 2010. Well, I okay, never mind. Now that I think about it, <laughs> that's only like a three year difference. So I guess that makes sense. But um, that's kind of a fun little outfit. Okay, this next one, I just, I give up. It will not go on, though I feel like it should. It is the 1995 Twirling Barbie Tutu. I'm guessing maybe she's like a ballet or something. It's been a little bit since I looked all of these up. Um, it's it's in okay shape. There's no major rips or anything, but all the little decals are flaking off. So I don't know if it's worth doing the repairs on um, because if I did repairs, like it would never look the same because I'm not going to get these same little things. I would probably take all the little shinies off and then where all the little spots are where they were originally I would just attach something else, like a bead or something to make it still really pretty, but um, it would definitely be unique. I don't know if it's worth doing that with this. It does have a tiny hole down here in the bottom of um, the stockings, but there's no holes in the stockings, which is good. The skirt has no holes in it, which is good. So we'll see if it's a project I take on or not, but it's not going on her. It will not go past her, her hips, which like same girl, I've had that problem many a times. It happens. Okay, this next one, clearly they don't go together, but I thought we'd try to give Barbie a little bit of modesty there because I don't have the rest of the skirt outfit. So the skirt is from 1991, and it's American Beauty Queen um, skirt. Sorry, I have it listed. Number 3137. And I believe it had, um, like, not like a swimsuit, but like a bodysuit kind of thing that went underneath. I could be wrong on that. Again, it's been a little while since I looked these up. It's interesting. I can't decide if these glitter spots look like animal prints or if they look like blue paint splatters. Somewhere in the middle, underneath, we have like a silver um, lining to the dress along with having the silver at the waist. And that is what it looks like all the way around. The jacket I have her in is like velvet feeling. It's actually quite nice feeling. It's like a very, very dark green, 
Okay, like it's probably pulling black on camera. Um, in life, it almost looks black, but if you look at it just right, you can tell it's like a super dark green. The jacket has no labelings, so I don't know if it's Barbie or not. Um, it fits Barbie really well, so I don't think it's for Ken. I feel like if it was for Ken, it'd been like larger in the arms and probably down a little longer and like wider in the shoulders. Though I could be wrong. If you recognize it, again, please let me know. Um, it was one of those pieces I could not find online anywhere at all. Um, plus, it looks like it's missing something. Like maybe it had a button or a detail because we've got like a random string. So who knows? Maybe there would have been something there to help help identify it with but it's incredibly soft I'm impressed with whatever fabric they used on that okay let's roll through a few of these that I don't have identified yet they're on random dolls that do not look nice yet but my kids almost home from school so I should try to knock these out really quickly we've got this really pretty little dress on Barbie maybe it's a shirt I don't really know it's cute I'm gonna guess it's from fashionista era um I don't again I don't recognize it I don't know any of these but it makes a cute dress on Tinkerbell. Then this is just a little outfit I threw together. Another one of those dolls that I've been told is on the wrong body, so I don't really know anything about it. But um, just a pair of checkered shorts and I found a random blue shirt. I'm not sure if these are Barbie brand or not. The last outfit I showed you is Barbie brand. Um, I'm not seeing anything in these, but that doesn't always mean anything. It very well could be Barbie. Yeah, I, it doesn't have tags to identify but makes for a cute little summer outfit this one um the shirt is barbie the skirt doesn't seem to have tags on it but just kind of a random little throw together and we've got i'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a bodysuit or a swimsuit but um these are puffy so that's what that one looks like Speed round, guys. And then um, this one here. Definitely Barbie skirts. I think this one is unbranded, if I remember correctly. And it's like falling open at the top. Could be something somebody's mom made. It could just be really... Well, it's got the Velcro, so I don't think it's too old. Um, you know, they work together as an outfit. But I don't know anything about these pieces. We're going to bring a background to this just really quickly because I found this little... Is it a jacket? Is it a vest? I'm going to guess some kind of a jacket. I don't know that they go together, but they look like they might go together. There's some pink trim in the jacket here on the sleeves. It's black. There's black in the dress. They seem like they would be from like the same time frame. So again, let me know if you know. Just another one of those unidentified pieces. It is a bit small on this Barbie, but also the dress is a bit small on this Barbie. So it very well could be that they go together or maybe they don't go together at all. Or maybe they just go together now because I say that they do. But we're going to finish this here for now, and I will catch up with you guys for you, like, one second. For me, probably tomorrow. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back at it, and you can see Mr. Miles there on the chair. Give you some cute, cute kitty photos there. Miles. Hi, sweet boy. He's like, I just don't want the dog near me. <laughs> okay, so we've got, like, half an hour before my, my kid gets back home from school. Same situation again today. Let's go ahead and get into our next outfit. I should have dressed her already. Hold on one moment. Okay, guys, she's dressed. This is a funky one, and I, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, maybe after I steam it and everything lays a little bit better, maybe it will look better. But this is the 1989 Barbie's uh, Dance Magic. Um, I've got two of these dresses. The purple one I think looks better than the blue, which blue is normally my favorite color, but all of these little feathery bits, like I said, maybe if I steam it, it'll lay better and it'll look better, but it's just, it's a little funky. And I also can't decide up here if this is supposed to be like an off the shoulder, I assume, but maybe it's supposed to be up here. I'd have to double check the um, stock photos I found online. The other thing I don't like about this particular dress, um, is that, so the whole gimmick is that she has two dresses, right? Like she has the ball gown like this, but then also this top piece, which has a gusset in it, makes it kind of hard to lay the, 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 the bottom skirt correctly. I think it, it sits a little weird because she has that gusset. And so 
technically if you could take the skirt and be have that gone and then that's supposed to be long enough to be like a dress on its own which like could be kind of cute again maybe if we steam it and it lays better and this one does have a bit of a, a rip in the back the steam has come undone but that's a pretty easy fix um so it comes down long enough in the back to be a dress in and of itself and so my thoughts on it were that like your see we didn't have a gusset you could pull up higher and then when you put your skirt on when you put your skirt on your doll it would actually go up to her hips and then this would come down over knee uh, over top and and look nice but because you have that gusset you can't pull it up anywhere past you know like the very bottom of her hips so that's where the skirt has to sit and it's like now i got the gusset stuck and out st stuck and out stuck out uh, and then i go to fold the dress part over and it doesn't lay right you get lumps and bumps and i'm like who thought this was a good idea like it's a cool concept but like can we get rid of the gusset? You know, like that's just not helping things. Unless I've got it on wrong, please let me know. But I, I think that's how it's supposed to sit. And it's just, um, you know what? They were on to an idea. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. If this was something I was personally going to display, I would probably cut the gusset out um, and then just keep it like that. However, I understand from... A frontal position if you just have this dress on like you probably want the gusset or something underneath um, because that's very short right like that just shows everything which is weird because in the back it's long enough to cover her bottom but in the front it's really not however they could solve that by giving her a little pair of panties it's not like we haven't seen those before in doll outfits and we've even seen it in a couple of outfits here today so I feel like that would have been a very easy workaround anyway um, interesting dress concept okay here's our next dance magic dress again from 1989 i don't have any complaints on this one not my favorite color but that's just a personal preference design wise i think it's cute i think it's functional it lays really nicely um yeah no complaints at all like i understand the concept i get how things are supposed to lay so you have like your purple bodice here which is a little off the shoulder moment and you've got your little flower and your floofy stuff there on the side then you've got this fluffy tulle skirt that goes on top of this skirt here in and of itself so you got like the shiny all the way down and then kind of like a satiny on the sides here very pretty and again it's it's got a double function so if you'd like to take the skirt off from underneath you can um, and then you would just have your you just have your top skirt like that or you could take your top skirt off and just have your bottom though i do think the bottom skirt's a bit plain on its own i think it definitely kind of needs the top skirt but you know what it, this is a pretty dress overall i think that they did a good job with this one it's easy to understand and I think they did really good on the designing of this one. <laughs> okay, here's our next outfit set. Uh, they don't necessarily go together. I should start off by saying I could not find these anywhere online. So I don't know if they're Barbie brand. There is no labels on the inside. They could be mother made. I really don't know. But they're very good quality if they are made by a mom somewhere. Um, or if they're a hand knit or however you want to say that. I think they're interesting. They're definitely older pieces. I like the little bobbles here at the bottom of the pants. They go all the way around with funky yellow pants. And then this lovely little knit sweater. It's very cute. I think these pieces make a nice little outfit. Again, I'm, I don't know that they necessarily go together. But this is one of the little outfits we got. It does sit a little funky in the back with that big, big opening there. I didn't realize it was like that. I don't know if adjusting the button any would help. Uh, maybe a smidge I lean more towards the sweater being handmade over the pants um kind of for things like that but and plus the big white button in the back but again like I don't really know they both could be handmade or they could both be Mattel or maybe they're a different brand entirely I don't really know um again if you recognize them please tell me I was not having any luck with um google images i have not posted them to the facebook play page so maybe i'll get some luck over there but kind of a funky little outfit kind of 60s what the pants make me think 
Um, sweaters makes me think a little more 80s, but I don't think they look bad together, especially with the sweater having the little yellow stripes kind of pulls the pants all together. Okay, this next one is no kind of like actual outfit. The top, I I don't, I can't idea, I can't find it online. So if you know, feel free to tell me down below. Same with the skirt, but I'm gonna have an easier time IDing that one. I haven't tried to ID either. Well, no, I, I think I've tried with the shirt. I know I haven't tried with the skirt because I have a rough idea of who the doll is. I just can't remember the name, but I believe it's the Barbie. Well, I think it'd be Krusty wears the green stuff. Could be wrong. I know it's not Barbie, um, one of her friends, but I believe the doll, I don't, I don't think it's totally hair Barbie. I think she had on a full length dress with long crimped hair, but I believe this was a doll that like you could cut her hair. She had like extensions or a wig or something you put on. And then, cause I had one of them as a kid. It had like a sparkly like vest type of shirt. Um, this didn't come with any kind of a shirt at all, but it is a pretty little skirt and I don't know. I don't really have much to say on it, but that's that's what these two pieces here look like. And if you know who they're from, feel free to let me know down below. Okay, this next skirt is from Chair Flare Christie from 2002. It's an incomplete outfit. I have um, this skirt and then another skirt that would have come with a doll. I don't have any of the other pieces, but it is a very pretty skirt. I like the coloring, the satin green satin blue you've got like this it kind of looks like blue jeans but it's not it's like a dark blue with glitter all over it back to the satin on the back it's a very pretty dress it's a very 2000s dress um but i think it's fun and i really like it and then here is the mini dress that would have went with that again it's all glittery it's made to look like a blue jean material though it doesn't feel like blue jeans at all i think it's interesting how they're made to go low on the hips Granted, that was very popular to have low rise, but it's it's just funny because I feel like it should be a little snugger and just sit at her natural waist. However, on the original doll, maybe it would have looked better. Okay, so my kid is home from school. I hear the bus. So I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me. That really was the last outfit. I've just got a few little odds and ends that I, I can't figure out who or what they're from. But that's okay. We'll finish this up here. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Hang out with me in the comments below. I hope to catch you guys in my next video.